Hi there, YouTubers. Uh, I've already had a lot of hits on my last video. I think there was roughly around 30,000 uh, as of the making of this one. And I had a common question that I saw pretty frequently in the comments. Uh, it's either you first got your drone and you're having this RC signal lost issue, or you upgraded the firmware on your drone and you're having RC signal loss. Um, the RC in that stands for remote controller. That's your guy right here. Um, basically, you're going to need to reset that. Uh, there is a two different options that you can use to uh, do that. Uh, the first of which I would suggest, because it's really simple, is uh, resetting the link between your controller and your drone. Uh, the second of which is doing a firmware update, and I'll cover that uh, as the second part of this video. So let's go ahead and go over the first part. Um, basically, you have this button, which I talked about in the original video. It is located on the right of your drone, which means viewer left because this is the front of your drone, this would be the right. If you flip it upside down, you'll see there's this little slot right here. Uh, that is going to be your link button. Uh, basically, you're gonna have your controller is off. I don't have any Wi-Fi connected or anything, and the drone's currently off. Let's go ahead and turn our drone on. Press it once, then hold down for a couple seconds. You'll get your bars. You'll see that we're getting oriented. You'll get your tone that the drone is starting up. Once we've gotten to that point, let's go ahead and rotate it around to where our light is on here. I don't know if you can see this. It's a little bit bright out here today. Um, but you can see right down here, that's my link button. Right now it's red. I'm going to go ahead. I have a Leatherman that I'm going to be using right now. Uh, you can use a pencil or whatever can get you in there. It's not a very hard thing. Uh, you just give a gentle press on that button and you let go. And I don't know, again, if you can see it, but it is now flashing red down in here. So once that flashing red is going on, you'll just set your drone back down. You will turn on your remote controller. And with your remote controller on, you will pull your gimbal dial all the way down to the left. So all the way down. And then you're going to rotate, or just, not rotate, flip your uh, S2 switch, is the top left switch right next to the gimbal one. Now you hear that noise? That basically means it's reconnecting there with the drone. So this is the RC link procedure. I just got a couple beeps. Sounds like it's done. I'm not hearing any more beeping. Let's look at the underside. Oh, look at that. I know you can see that. Nice solid green light. So that means that your uh, controller is now connected with the drone. So that's step number one. And that's the easy process. As you can see, it's very quick. Uh, it's covered on pages 24, 25, and 26 in your uh, user manual, the English version PDF as of when I made this video. It could be different at this point, but at the time, that's what it was. Um, I linked to that in the prior video, and I'll put that link down in the comments below on this video. Um, so let's go over the firmware updating procedure. Uh, that's a little bit more complicated, but it's not terribly complicated. Uh, it's just more time consuming than anything. Uh, DJI is kind of known for having pretty buggy firmware, I would say, judging by all the comments I've seen in forums and whatnot. Again, I'm no expert on DJI or Phantoms in general. I'm just a general user like you guys. I'm not doing any fancy photography or videography here. I'm just covering some points to help uh, everybody out, uh, including my dad who had this issue, which is how I first had to research it because I've never had a problem with my drone. It's been great out of the box. Uh, what happened with him, he tried to update the firmware on his drone and it seemed to get halfway through and something happened. Uh, he probably had a bad connection where he was at the house. I know that out there on the farm, it's got a little bit of spotty signal. So maybe his firmware didn't update appropriately. Uh, got messed up part way through. And at that point, he could no longer see anything on the screen on his uh, DJI app when he was connected with the drone. He could still move it around using the controller, but he couldn't actually see any picture coming from the drone to the, you know, to your uh, phone or tablet. That's kind of an important thing if you're flying a drone, you, especially if you're far off in the distance, you need to know how to get it back. You can't see it real well. So let's go through that firmware updating procedure. First of all, uh, you want to go ahead and uh, look at your drone, flip down your little camera section there, pop out your memory card which is your little micro SD flash. Um, you can use whatever device works well for you to uh, connect with your computer. I'm gonna use this little guy right here, which is USB conversion. Uh, you can use a flash adapter if that works for you, you know, whatever method you use to get your card connected with your computer. Um, you may need to buy that uh, if you do not have one. It definitely does not come with your drone. It's something that I use since I do some computer work. So anyhow, uh, we're gonna take that guy and plug it in your USB port on the side of your system. And once you're uh, open, 
with your window here, uh, showing the files and whatnot on the card. Uh, you want to go ahead and transfer anything off of the card that you had on there that's your own personal files because you need to format this card. You'll notice I'm going to right click on that. Let's go right up to format. We're going to format this guy. And yes, format is complete. Okay, that's step one. So once you've uh, formatted that card, you're going to want to go to a specific website to download the firmware that you're going to be using on your drone. Um, this website, I will link it in the comments below. Um, you don't have to see what it is up here, but I'll tell you. It's www.phantomhelp.com forward slash capital P for phantom dash three dash standard with a capital S. You're going to want to come over to the side here and scroll all the way down to the page to the very, very bottom. And you'll notice at the very bottom there's a section called Firmware Archive. There are multiple versions there for the archive. We're specifically going to roll back to version 1.5.7 in this particular video. Uh, basically just choose which firmware you want to roll back to. Uh, 1.5.7 is the one that most people are recommending. Uh, you'll right click on it. You will save that link as and save it wherever you want to save it. I'm going to put it on my desktop and it'll take a couple seconds. And uh, once it's done downloading, wherever you've downloaded it to, you're going to go ahead and transfer it to that now empty SD uh, micro SD card that you're going to be putting back in your drone. So let's go ahead and open that up. Here is my SD card. You'll see there's nothing in there since we formatted it. I'm going to go ahead and take my file. I'm going to cut it or copy it, whichever you prefer, and then paste it onto that card. Hopefully you know how to do cut, paste, or copy, paste on the computer. If you're flying a drone, I think that would be a bare minimum. Um, shows that I have just that file on the card. There's no other directories or anything. It's just right there in the root of the card. So now that you got that, you can close it down. We're going to go ahead and uh, go ahead and eject your card from wherever you had it at. I'm good to go here. And uh, you're going to take that card and you're going to stick it back inside your drone. Okay. Um, you're going to need something like, uh, <laughs> last time I used a uh, Leatherman, this time I'm getting real fancy and I got a paper clip. Um, so what you're going to do with that is you're going to go ahead and take your drone, flip it up so you can hit that link reset button again. And you'll see that you press and hold it. And while you're holding it, one, two, you will turn your drone on. Here it's starting up. I'm still holding down that link button. I'm not going to let it go just yet until I hear some noise. It's about 10 seconds that you have to wait here. All right. And you see on the front down here that I have my little uh, status indicator. It's flashing back and forth between green and red. Hear that noise going on now? Bip, 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 bip. That is telling you that you are now updating the firmware on your drone. So um, we could wait around for this, but uh, I'll tell you right now, I mean, it depends on the firmware that you're putting on. It can take anywhere from around eight minutes to 15 minutes. Uh, we're gonna skip ahead on that section. Before we get to the very end tones, I just wanted to show that we already have a uh, different noise that's coming through, just so I give you more of an idea of what sounds normal for this process. You'll see that we're still flashing back and forth red and green. We are not completely updated just yet. Just hang tight, wait for the tones, and keep watching your little light right there on the front. Okay, now we've gotten to the final tone that we're listening for. This almost sounds like an old dot matrix printer going in action here. You got this long humming sounding tone and you can see that our light has turned solid green. That means that your firmware is completely updated at this point. And you'll hear that the noise is still going. It almost sounds like you're not done yet. You are done as long as this light is completely green. And at this point, you'll go ahead and do the press and then hold a couple seconds and have your drone shut off. And 
at that point, you should be able to go ahead and look at your uh, DJI GO app software, and you'll see that your drone is uh, downgraded to the old version or upgraded to the new version if you were upgrading. Let's go ahead and have a look at that. You can go ahead and take your card out of your drone and verify it physically on your card. I'm just going to pop this back in here and put it back in our USB port. When your files pop up, you should see that you have a directory of uh, DCIM for recording camera images. And uh, also you'll see two files. You'll see that bin file that you copied over and you will see a text file. And this is giving you the results of how your firmware actually did with the upgrade that you just performed. If I go ahead and open that up, you'll see that it lists a whole bunch of stuff here on the screen. Um, the most important one is going to be the one down at the very bottom, I do believe. I think it always pops up down there. I haven't heard a definite on that, but the times I've done it, that's where it ends up. And you'll see that it shows the bin file that I did. P3CFWV01.05.007.bin. That's that file that I copied over here in the very get go from the desktop that I downloaded from the site. And uh, you'll see it says upgrading result was a success. So that's the way to verify directly on the card if you had success. The other way is to go ahead and look at the DJI Go app and uh, verify it through the actual camera menu. Uh, let's go ahead and do that as well. Okay, so we covered how to go ahead and uh, verify the uh, drone is updated with the firmware or downgraded with the firmware on the card by checking on the laptop. Let's uh, do it through the software. So do the routine that you normally would to go ahead and connect your controller with your drone. Turn on your controller. Turn on your drone. There we go. Get the tone. See the lights coming on. Let's go ahead and start working on the Wi-Fi, getting it all set up. It says that we're connected to my Phantom. Let's go ahead and, whoops, sorry, I didn't mean to hit that. Let's go ahead and connect to the DJI Go app. We can go ahead and go directly into camera mode. Now you'll see at the top it already says that I have new firmware available. I don't want to do that. I want to stick with the old one for now because I just want to verify that we actually did it correctly. We'll hit the camera. It'll go into your camera mode. We're going to hit the little icon. Well, first we're going to cancel out of that. You'll see it says I'm not safe to fly because I'm inside doing all this. But uh, up here you will see there's a little tiny menu button. We're hitting that. On our row of icons right here, we're going to go to the very bottom and hit the uh, triple dots. Pulls up a menu for your general settings. You're going to scroll all the way to the bottom and click on About. And when you click on About, you'll see that it says Version. And the version that I have is 1.5.70 plus. So, uh, that's the second way to verify that we went ahead and uh, got our software installed correctly. So that pretty much covers the uh, firmware update or downgrade process, uh, upgrade downgrade process, uh, whichever one you wanted to do. Uh, choose which firmware package you want to use, feel comfortable with off of the site that I linked below and uh, go forward installing and happy flying from there. If you have any questions about the process that I went through on here or uh, small details, uh, maybe software updates uh, from the app at this point, uh, downgrading through the app. Uh, some of those tend to be a little bit problematic, especially after doing this particular procedure. Um, you can always use the drivers on the site to specifically roll forward or back to wherever you want to do using the procedure that I just showed. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I will address them as soon as possible. Thanks guys. Bye.